Good morning and welcome to the birth vlog. Today, as I'm filming this clip, it is Tuesday, May 21st, which is two days before my due date. My due date is the 23rd and I have my induction scheduled for that day, but I've been doing all the things to try to get her to come on her own. And I think it worked or she was gonna come on her own anyway. I'll catch you guys up on what's been going on so far. So it's about 6.30 a.m. and, oh my God, I'm so out of breath. Starting Sunday morning, I've had what I believed to be Braxton Hicks contractions literally all day. Um, all day on Sunday, all day on Monday. On Monday, I also, I mean, I've been having back pain, but like a lot more back pain. And I was also like peeing a lot more. Like I peed like four times in like 15 minutes without having drink any, and like had anything to drink in the middle. And then last night, and for anyone who's wondering because as of this moment, I don't know for sure, but I'll try to fill you guys in as I learn. For me, what the Braxton Hicks felt like were it started as a little bit of a period cramp and then my whole belly would just tighten. And last night, they were getting a lot more intense, like really intense period cramps to the point where like I kind of had to like take a beat, breathe through it, that type of thing. And right before I went to bed, I said to Matt, I was like, I think it, I think it's gonna be tomorrow. It's gonna be Tuesday. And went to bed, woke up to pee, and then, and by the way, disclaimer, if you don't wanna know about birth stuff, probably skip this, like this whole video, because I'm gonna give you guys a lot of detail because these are things that I really, at this exact moment, wish I knew from people because when you're pregnant for the first time, you just like literally don't know these things. So anyway, went to the bathroom around like midnight and then I thought, I still might be, I think I lost my mucus plug, but it wasn't very mucusy, but it was just very pink. And I've been having that basically for the past six hours. So I was able to go back to sleep, which is great. And my contractions are basically the same as they were, like starting as a period cramp, tightening in my belly. So I'm going to like eat breakfast and just kind of hang out because at least for me, my doctor says, you don't need to go to the hospital until you have like really intense contractions five minutes apart for like two hours. I may end up calling the hospital just to like kind of ask and make sure that the like bleeding spotting is not a concern, but I'm excited. I'm like, I'm not, I'll be honest. I am not excited for the process in the experience, but I'm so excited to meet this baby and get her out. So let's go have a baby. It's been several hours. It's now 3.45. We had called and talked to the hospital a couple times because of the like spotting I've been having. And they just kind of confirmed, or like, we all kind of decided like it's just early labor, so just waited out at home. Now it's about 3.45, I don't know if I just said that. And I've been having consistent contractions for like hours. And they're now like three to four minutes apart. So we just packed everything up and we are gonna go to the hospital to have a baby, which is so wild. I meant to take a good bump clip before I came downstairs, but I forgot and there's no way I'm going back up. So here's our last little glimpse of the bump. Step one down. Just waiting. How are you feeling? Honestly, pretty chill. Like, I'm not freaked out again. Yeah, you seem pretty chill. You don't seem to be. I mean, like at this point, like it has to happen. That's my thing. Yeah. Contraction happening. Just coming in soon enough. A pretty sweet room. Although it's kind of weird to have like a, a patio out. Like someone's gonna be here lunch as you're just like burning. Like yeah. Down. But it's Wait, just funny. So funny. But isn't that what like someone's just like you know? You're like giving birth. Eating a salad or like a baby pop time right for them. That'd be kind of alarming. <laughs> just outside like walking around and I was sitting down and literally felt like 
a water balloon popped inside of me and I was like, oh, I think my water just broke. And it did. So now we're back inside and they're gonna come take labs and do things like that. And now, I don't think we even mentioned that we were deciding if we were gonna stay or go home, but we're here now. We're here now, yeah. <laughs> and she pooped in, yeah. in, in there. Which so, was a very alarming cover yeah. to see, but it's not a big deal, apparently. Mm -hmm. So now we'll see. That was so freaking wild. <laughs> I, think I was so nervous about getting it all yeah, in my pants. I know. That it's a good thing you did it because of the, especially because like, it wasn't just like the water. Yeah, that would gross. The long, the long part. Nicole's having a contraction. And I don't feel it. And I think it's at its peak. Yeah, because I feel the, the blood pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, after my water broke, my contractions just like ramped up. Like I think maybe an hour after. They were so. She, the nurse came in and was like, you're literally having contractions every one to two minutes. And I was like trying to wait it out and like see how dilated I was. But I was having so much back pain and like I was starting to not be able to get through the contractions well. Like I was just tensing. And Matt was like, you, like it looks like you're really struggling. And so I decided to get the epidural earlier than I, it wasn't even earlier than I planned. I just wanted more information you wanted, first. You wanted more information. About how far along I was. But honestly... It was such a good decision. I'm just very happy that so far, this has been like an extremely positive experience and it's gone really well. Yeah. And she's coming on her own, mm -hmm. which is huge. And now I get to just like chill. It's so much better. Like two hours, you like were not functioning because you were just like, they were just coming on so frequently. Like you couldn't do anything. I didn't realize I've been contracted since Sunday. Yeah. She's been, oh, she's been having contractions for so long powered through it and then last night is like when it really came on and you I would say act I don't know about active what I deciphered as labor contractions what time is it nine almost yeah oh, it's after. have been almost 24 hours yeah it's been 21 hours you gotta remember the leg up and uh... yeah our nurse was like go you know take a walk just like wait it out whatever and we were gonna wait two hours to get another check. And 30 minutes into that, because I was like doing some squats, like putting my leg up, I just pop. You, and then how about when you were sitting? That's the wild thing. Oh, the weirdest. I've never heard anyone describe water breaking as a balloon popping. I thought someone had. Not anyone I know. Hmm. Yeah, this is probably uh, TMI again, but it's a labor vlog. La labor vlog, but the amount of liquid that is in that sack. It's freaking wild. It's wild. Am I having a contraction now? Yes. It's coming out. Alright, I gotta eat my salad. Matt's gotta eat dinner. Yeah, but... 20. Ta-da! Liz trying to sleep with the epidural and they actually were about to, they came in and were like your contractions have kind of slowed down so we're gonna give like we want to give you toast and I was like okay I'm sure and they literally like did the prescription hung up the bag and that's before they even put it in my contractions sped up a ton and so we decided not to do it and then we tried to go to sleep and I was probably trying to sleep for maybe like 15 20 minutes and I was just like stuff is happening like I was feeling like tons of pressure. My shakes were out of control and they came in and checked me and I was nine centimeters. So I went from like three and a half to four at like nine o'clock-ish mm -hmm. to nine like at like 11.30, which yeah. is wild. Fuck. So now we're just getting ready to push. Getting ready, yeah. She's coming. It's 2.30 and it's time to push. It all happened so quick. So quick. Got a little extra sleep in right before, so ready to go? Yeah. A little shaky. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three. 
for? You get mad. Yeah. Okay. Great. The girl is really magical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Her baby's head is part way out. It's it's hard it's hard it's really out. Yeah. 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 before four, uh -huh. um, like right at four, yeah. or like right before, but <laughs> when I sat back down, you know, I told you to like just keep your legs, but uh -huh. she started to stay, I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Hard work. Nicole did an amazing job. It was such a good experience, honestly. Mm, yeah. Went very well. She's so teeny. Hi, Louie. Hi, Louie. Oh, you want to open your eyes for us? No? Okay. So we've moved from the delivery wing. Delivery yeah, side now delivery. to postpartum side. We've, we've been, been here. Okay. Yeah, we've been here. We moved here at like 6 a.m. It's now like 7 p.m. probably, maybe a little after. Um, I've just been really resting, working on feeding her. She She's to, been doing really good. Yeah, she's doing really good now. Latching. We had to go to the nursery so she could get a little warmer. Came back here, she slept for a little while. Now we're eating dinner. I'm just gonna hang out. I think we're doing. I think we're doing a pretty good job. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how you feeling, Nicole? Honestly, like, better and worse than I thought. Just different than you thought? Wait, do you mean like physically or yeah, what? Yeah, physically. Yeah, I did, I don't know if I said this, I got a small second degree tear, which they said is like Pretty, pretty common. Standard, yeah. honestly. For, I think he said for a first. For a first baby. Yeah. Um, but that's like a bit more uncomfortable than I expected. But other than that, honestly, I feel like I'm handling the baby stuff pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> and that's a little stressed. But he also has literally never held a baby, like a newborn. I mean, I don't know if I'd have like a newborn, but like. My niece was the first, like, child you ever interacted yeah. with. It's tough. But he's doing a really, really good job. Thanks. Changed a diaper by herself. <laughs> on, on, she was 12 hours old. Yeah. Her temperature is dropping a little bit again, so we have her swaddled in some warm blankets, and then they're going to check it again. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I captured your heart 